The Lonely Planet. If you are a Little Shop of Horrors fan, you're gonna like this episode. And I don't mean as if this episode is a musical or has a lot of references to the Little Shop of Horrors. It has one reference and it's around the, uh, like, prior to the end, but still, it's a really good reference. Um, Wanda and Sylvia stumble upon this very barren, no, I mean barren, planet and they're wondering, hey, why is this planet all dried up and stuff? But then they stumble upon this flower and it, the flower starts talking to them, but they end up no they end up learning that this flower is not just a flower. It's the entire planet that's talking to them. The planet's named Janet. And of course Wander gets all friendly with the planet and Sylvia's kinda trying to also be friendly but at the same time being very suspicious of this planet. And it's pretty obvious why. Uh, Wander's very flattering, very charming to this planet. And whenever he mentions Sylvia, like, hey, we, we're best pals and whatever, and uh, Janet is pretty jealous. After having this very brief friendship with Wander, um, Sylvia gets like pushed away. And I don't mean it, and I don't mean by Wander, it's by Janet. Janet the planet. Um, Jen is doing everything she can to uh, make Wander uh, com uh, not uh, compliment her. Uh, Wander keeps on complimenting her on how beautiful her environment is, even the views. Uh, she shows him like a, this beautiful sunset, this amazing uh, areas or greens or just horizons and whatever. But whenever Sylvia comes along, it, it gets all gloomy. <laughs> You even see it on the color palette, everything goes gray. And Jenna's like, oh, hi Sylvia. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just find it funny how this planet does everything she can to have Sylvia just go away and keep Wander for herself. Even uh, during the night, and I don't mean the episode, I mean literally the night, uh, she, Janet, does this, like she separates like in these wide valleys and these high mountains and uh, oceans to keep uh, Sylvia away from Wander physically and sort of uh, make Sylvia just go like off planet and have Wander stay. Even shows him, she even Janet, shows Wander this really weird cottage in which there's a lot of things resembling Wander and even saying, even having a little uh, P.O. box, I think. No, it's a mailbox, not a P.O. box. Um, uh, this mailbox in which it says Wonder plus Janet and whatever, and Janet, you hear it in her voice like, do you like it? Do you like Wonder? Do you? <laughs> like, trying to, like, not be creepy, but at the same time, you just know it's that she is very, she's being very unbelievably creepy, and Wander's picking up on this, and she, and he, I mean, he even starts saying, oh, well, uh, it's nice knowing you, but I need to go back to Sylvia, and Janet just snaps, like, everything is Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, my throat. Um, and, of course, there's the big Little, little Shop of Horrors reference with a big, big flower, similar to Audrey too, and of course Janet proclaims that you're gonna stay with me forever and I'll never be alone again and rah! And, and of course Wander tries to go away, try to object, but he can't. And Sylvia comes to the rescue, saves Wander, fights with the planet, with everything she can, and when she and Wander, and I mean, and I mean Sylvia and Wander, try to escape through uh, with the Orbal Juice, like with this Orbal Bubble, uh, they fight and fight to just get away with Janet trying to pull them in with her gravitational pull. But after seeing this very strong friendship between them, Janet just gives up and just gets depressive. Like, she just... She has been alone for so long that she tried to separate these two apart, these good friends apart, just so she could have what they have. And it's really sad because there's people who will do anything to have companionship and just don't know that they are hurting people, which is a very good message. And 
of course the the episode has a good ending there's this sat this nearby satellite that just got closer thanks to the gravitational pull that i mentioned earlier in which this satellite which is a male i really can't remember the name but it's a it's a moon it's a satellite um starts complimenting janet of how beautiful she is and that he never saw a planet like her and that he would like to be with her and janet is, is of course uh, blushing and starts falling for him and wonder and sylvia is just like and eh, we better go and give them some space and that's how the episode ends with a happy union of the satellite and janet the planet it sounds weird janet the planet <laughs> it, it rhymes and the animatic, which I've been forgetting to mention the animatics, Jesus. Uh, for this animatic, you, you see uh, Janet, the planet, using these vines in which, of course, I'm not gonna make that joke. If you know the joke, shut up. Um, using her vines to make Wander dance with her while in the cottage that I mentioned earlier. And, of course, uh, playing music and like a, like a little band playing uh, music so they can dance with each other and you, you still hear the... the very weird voice, like, ah, ha, 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 we're having fun, oh my god, ah, like that, and it's still creepy. Uh, I really can't remember the, the, the animatics for the other episodes, except for uh, the time bomb. Uh, the nice guy, I really can't remember, but for the time bomb, you see Sylvia doing a lot of dances, a lot of victory dances, varying from jumping and even doing gestures, and that's it. Jet of the Planet!